Okay, guys, in this lecture, we're going to learn how to allow ICMP reply or echo. So the first thing you need to do is you have to log in to your, what, to your admin. Of course, you have the full access at um, A, B, C, at 1, 2, 3. Uh, once I log in to here, what I'm going to do and I need your attention guys in here as well because these things are very important and very essential as well. Okay, in order to change um, or in order to allow, it is not only ICMP, any types of port you want to enable uh, to be accessible the server from the local area network if the sound is not familiar you have to hold your horses and we're going to discuss about these things and then on the next year uh, on the upcoming lectures as well but so far you just keep it in your mind how to enable icmp echo in our windows server 2022 let me close this one that's the good thing that it prompts you in case if you need later on so so far, we probably need to do what? Server Manager. Click on Server Manager. You don't have to go any places in here. You just need to come to Tools. Remember that I'm here in Server Manager. I will come to Tools. And you have to find Windows Defender Firewall with the Advanced Security. So just follow the steps that I'm following in here. Just click in here. So we have a inbound rules and we have a outbound rules. How many rules we have? We have inbound rules and we have a out outbound rules as well. Just keep this in your mind and that is what it is. Okay, we start from inbound rules and here we probably need to click new rules so in here that ask um, program ports define something let's name it a custom i like to add a custom let's see just click custom once you click the custom uh click the all program that is also good just click the all program uh, next and here if you do the next Here's the most important things that you have to keep in your mind. I don't want to allow uh, any ports. Forgive me, guys. It is ICMP version 4. Now, ICMP version 4 is available. Click ICMP uh, version 4 and then click Next. So once you click Next in here, uh, we can pick any ports. Uh, which local IP address does this rule apply to? If you want to specify a specific server, for example, client A should be able to ping our server, then you probably need to what? These IPs, add the IPs in here. But I don't want to like specify, even we can say IP or we can specify the range of IP as well. But what I'm going to do is any IP any IP of course in our local area network any IP should be able so uh, what I'm going to do is in here I will click next just click next and uh, allow the connection here's the important things if I say block then the all ICMP package will be blocked and one thing sh you should keep in your, in your mind that Windows Server 2022, by default, it blocks any request, ICMP request from outside to inside. For example, if you want to ping your server from your uh, computer, for example, from your local computer in order to access, you will receive destination host unreachable because by default, Windows, like disabled, the recent Windows, Windows, 20, Windows Server 2022 is blocked these things. But I don't want to block, I want to allow it. So then uh, let's click next. So we can see through the domain, 
whether it's a private or public, it doesn't matter, but I just want to allow this rule to take an effect. Let's uh, name this rule. ICMP uh, space version version four, uh, uh, we can say rule for alias tick DC. That's it, just description. And description, if you want to give some description, uh, dis uh, the uh, description, that's fine. And it's an option, you don't have to type anything, but in case as a reminder, as a professional, you probably need to know is that uh, uh, this, this port is allow from anywhere. Uh, then finish. Once you finish, so means you are good to go. If you come in here, probably you will see there is a new rule, which is called ICP version 4, rule for Elias Tech, inbound. Now, let's click, uh, means now I'm able to do what? I'm able to ping any host from the server to outside and, and now from outside to inside if you look at the arrow sign in here the arrow sign uh, does come with a good definition as well in here from inside to outside and in here from outside to inside so let's click another rule in here uh, once you click um, another rule and on both sides we can see program if you remember we made a custom click custom and next all program any you don't have to click any is it the same thing icmp version 4 uh, next any ip i didn't want to specify a range or a specific ip so on we can click next do you want to block i would say no i don't want to block i want to allow anyone to access or ping the server only remember that this is icmp it's only for icmp echo and click next so let's say uh, ICMP uh, internal, internet and control message protocol version four. Um, uh, say um, rule for alias tick domain controller. This is stand for domain controller. I don't want to create create any justification in here in the description in case if you need but it's very professional if you're very serious and you want to build your domain controller my suggestion is to give some good description here as well so the description is that you probably need to know uh, and mention the purpose of that specific port for example I why well, you enable ICMP so on the future when you work on another project you may confuse to uh, you will you would be like why well, allow the I, I allow this port when I allow this port and what's the purpose of this port which is allow in our server server is very important so that's why probably we need to have a uh, we have to have a full attention uh, for our server as well so this is how you're supposed to what this is how you're supposed to enable ICMP echo uh, and Windows Server 2022 so if I right click, remember that if I right click, uh, I can disable this rule. Remember that it's very easy to disable. You can delete the the rules as well. Uh, meanwhile, from um, inside to outside, you can disable these rules as well whenever you want. If you go to properties, you can see the rules. You can modify the rules. You can make changes if you want. If you don't want to make any changes, see allow, but you can make it block as well. It is almost like if you right click a disable so anyway this is how you can enable and disable any port but just icmp was an example uh, and i hope the information was very helpful